on the national capital, on the streets of the national capital for one whole year. 700 farmers had to die because of the Sangh Parivar's RSS's anti-farmers policy. And many of the students today inside Kerala also comes from families whose parents are farmers because of whom they are able to go and access to public education. The Sangh Parivar is also using every method to dismantle the public education system. We know that Kerala has been one of the strongest examples that what can public education give us, how empowered it can make us. And that is the model we want to take it, not only inside Kerala, but to the parliament to tell the Sangh Parivar that if you try to destroy the public education model, we will not tolerate that because majority of the students inside this country today need to study, have the fundamental right for education. And if you are trying to take away from that from us, our flag of independence, democracy, socialism will be there high to defeat the Sangh Parivar Privatist policy. We also know that in the last 10 years, what is the situation of the employment of our country? We know after the independence, after the 75 years of the independence of our country, we are seeing other US highest attack. We are seeing the highest percentage of unemployment ratio, unemployment rate inside our country. Several youth are having to forcefully migrate outside this country. We need in search of better education spaces, better job opportunities. We need to ask the Sangh Parivar that this Sangh Parivar which we had told that got us to power in 2014 and in 2019. Why did you fail the student and youth who are demanding for job inside this country? We need to ask the RSS and the BJP continuously that when they are trying to have a divisive politics, how they are trying to divide us on the name of religion, on the name of caste. We know that inside this country we have seen we will not forget the history of the freedom movement where people from across the country, our martyrs, our freedom fighters from across the sections of the society came together to defeat the colonial rule and to say that India is a land of diversity. India is a space for cultural diversity and diversity. People from every section came together to defeat the colonial section, the colonial powers. Today, when we stand here, and this general election is of most important, we also need to question. In 2019, when the general elections happened, when the Lok Sabha elections happened, the people of Kerala, with very much positivity, voted the UDF and sent them to, as, as representatives of the parliament. We need to question them that last five years when you were sitting in the parliament and the Sangh Parivar was continuously attacking, was continuously making anti-people's policies, where were you? We have seen the maximum of the representatives of the UDF. They were absent from the parliament when major of the important debates were going on. That's why, comrade, we need to know that when the Sangh Parivar is increasing their assault, increasing their assault on the democratic fabric of our country, on the scientific progress of our country, on the secular ethos of our country, when we stand here today, we know the chief ministers of two states, Jharkhand and New Delhi, are under the bar, behind the jail. They have been incarcerated with false charges just to dismantle the federal structure. We also know how the Sangh Parivala is trying to do the same with Kerala. We need to ask UDF, that's why, that when people of Kerala voted for you and sent you as an alternative, why did you fail the people of Kerala? And that is why it is very important for us in these general elections, in these Lok Sabha elections, when we go to vote, we elect comrades like we, Vaseem, who are contesting from LDF, from the left democratic front, another LDF candidate from other constituencies because they are the representative US bill form who will be representing the working class, the student, the youth, the women, the marginalized and the minority community inside the parliament. We know a lot of challenges are there but we have assured this through our historical struggles that the left has never sold out themselves. The left has a history of mafia -dom. The left has a history where they have given up their lives but has not bowed down in front of the Sangh Parivar or in front of the British colonial rule. And that is where we draw our legacy and stand for. And that is why in this upcoming Lok Sabha elections, it is important for us to unite and elect the left democratic front candidates, comrades like we, Vasis, from the Malapuram constituency, so that people like them, candidates like them, can represent us, strengthen our and your voices inside the parliament in case the Sangh Parivar is trying to destroy the democratic fabric of this country. Our comrades will not run away from their responsibilities. They will stand inside the parliament and ask questions to the Sangh Parivar. They will fight on the street.
streets of Malapura and across Kerala to restore democracy inside this country and that is our belief and that is our confidence of our government. With this, once more appealing to all of you that we unite and gather support and ensure that people of Malapuram vote for Comrade V. Vaseem inside this constituency and support all the LDF candidates across Kerala in Club Sindhabad. <laughs> I'm so happy to see this such young faces rallying for our win, all our win against the communalism in every campuses, universities. Comrades, we know that SFI, DYFI and all the left forces are constantly fighting in the university, college, school campuses against this RSS BJP's agenda of communalizing these spaces. We know how this union government is running their government, cutting scholarships, like uh, not building infrastructure schools, destroying the idea of public education. Comrades, we know, coming from the marginalized section, as the students, it is our right to have good education in good schools, colleges. But this government is not building that. This government is not promoting public education. They want to privatize our schools, universities. They want to cut our scholarships, our rights. Now, as a student, we have to understand how our society will be. The society which is equal, the society which is harmonious. So, as students, it is our uh, right uh, to tell about the question, these governments. So, so uh, as a student, we need to ask, we need to know who our, who our representatives will be. So, in Malapuram, Comrade V. Vasif is constantly fighting against communalism, fighting for the idea of public education in school colleges. We as a student has to give support, tell our friends, families, elders, so that our true representative can be sent to parliament, will question for us, to the government, to the forces, so that a strong force can be in the parliament, strengthen our voices. The voices of the working class, voices of the students, minorities, farmers, our voices. So I appeal to all of us, the school going students, colleges, us, their friends, families, to support LDF candidates. And in Malapuram, our candidate, LDF candidate, he Vasip, vote for all LDF candidates in Kerala, in Kalab Zindabad. <laughs> Thank you.